And now to a story of survivor, a driver trapped and stranded in the Tehachapi Mountains for five days after his truck plunged down a 100-foot cliff. KCON News reporter Nicole Comstock spoke with him from his hospital bed tonight. And Nicole, he didn't have any food, water, and even encountered a bear while he was out there? It's a very crazy story, Juan. You know, this guy was basically in the middle of nowhere, surrounded by nothing but dry brush like this, only he was way down an embankment where passing cars couldn't even see him. He tells us the only way he survived was by resting when he could, but the sun during the day and the cold at night made that incredibly difficult. While driving down a canyon road after dropping his son off at a doctor's appointment in Bakersfield, a Ridgecrest man realized his GPS was taking him the wrong way. So he tried to turn around on Comanche Road in Kern County, but he didn't have enough room. His car rolled 100 feet down an embankment and crashed. I got ejected, knocked out. And I don't know, I think I was probably about 30, 40 feet from my car. Yeah. Something like that. 68 year old Calvin Smith spoke with us from his hospital bed, where he's being treated for many broken bones, including his collarbone and tailbone. So it's two broken vertebrae? Three broken ribs. So it was only by a miracle that he survived for five days down there, alone, without any food, water, or a phone, exposed to the sun, and too hurt to move. I'm hoping, praying. Scared to death. Make animals coming real close to me, but they didn't bother me. He says he even watched a bear glance over as it ambled by. Before the first search and rescue team member, a man named Corey, climbed down into the canyon and found him, giving him water and staying by his side until the reinforcements arrived. I didn't know how appreciative I am of him saving my life. That man saved my life. I really want to thank him. I'm very appreciative appreciative to him. Calvin's wife Dee Dee says that Kern County Fire Department search and rescue crew called her and let her talk to her husband when they found him going above and beyond to comfort them both through an awful ordeal that could have cost Calvin his life. Then they had to get him into the ambulance, take him three miles to the helicopter and bring him here. So it was a great rescue and outfit. They did it. They really did do something incredible. Calvin and his wife are counting their blessings that he's still alive, and he's still waiting to find out what kind of surgery he's going to have to have. Reporting live tonight, I'm Nicole Comstock, KCAL News. Well, 68 years old, that's a very strong man. Nicole, thanks so much.